everyone's obsessed with the perfect yo-yo. Dings, vibe, it doesn't matter. For the three days that I've been here, I've been telling myself I would go for an early morning run. For the last three days, that has not happened. Today's the day. All right, let's do this. Just shy of 14 kilometers, but, but the goal was to get to 21, so we're gonna do that. A lot of people don't think I can complete this Iron Man. To be honest, I'm not really sure either, but I'm in cans, so I'm gonna damn well try. Callous the mind. Literally just did three. I have no upper body strength right now. I just stopped in the side of the gas station to get a red bull. After that red bill, I feel like I am freaking flying. Twenty-three kilometers. That was fun. That is my next challenge: assembling that freaking bike. Oh, that's not good. The derail is good. Bike itself is assembled, but I'm not a hundred percent sure whether it is roadworthy. I'm not sure if that crack. Is anything to be concerned about. So we're gonna go get it checked out by a proper bike mechanic to see if it'll hold up. Yeah, careful. That can crack and come off, leaving your spokes exposed, which can come off. So it is a safety issue and they- Is there anything that can be done right now? You could go and see the guys, their zip down at the expo. The wheel's busted. We're gonna go to the zip expo to see if they can fix it. M maybe this warrants just giving up and not doing the Iron Man at all. That is a viable option. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Triathlon Iron Man Expo again. Got a bad feeling about this. That hub's cracked. If that cap comes off and you, ha you hit a really big pothole, it, the spoke could hit, the spoke could pop. That's pretty cheap. Two thousand six hundred for a set of wheels. Do you want to take a race on that? They told us we couldn't ride it, and their solution was buy a $2,600 set of wheels. I'm not ready to accept that yet. So we're going to visit another bike shop. You know, one thing they never tell you in all of these Iron Man motivational videos, it's an expensive sport. This is it, this is make or break, do or die. Battle. Can't help you. Look, no, the spoke will come out. You see, it's protecting from avoiding the spokes coming out because if you hit a bump, you compress the wheel, the spoke would come out. It's dangerous to but ride. You, you got it actually cracked on both sides. How did that happen? Cracked a bit. So, if you get a thousand dollars for that, wouldn't you be happy? So now we're, we're, we're considering the 2006. The offer that was off the table is now on the table. A bit of a predicament here. Yeah. Oh, the valve? Uh, not the valve. Oh, okay. The, the cap um, along there, that's cracked. Nothing too concerned about. So yeah. that crack isn't anything to worry about? No. no. Even if you had to ride 200k to, on Sunday? Not a problem. Not a problem? Oh, you'd ride, you'd ride a couple of thousand. Oh. It's, it, that there is not structural in any way, shape, or form. Oh, sweet. All it is is cosmetic. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> What's up guys, Brandon from the future. There are a lot of things in yo-yos that yo-yo companies make you think matter that don't matter. Thing number one, dead smooth yo-yos, doesn't matter. Anno floor, dings aligned engravings. As a competitor, doesn't matter. The most important thing that matters is the yo-yo spins, the yo-yo's weight distribution is good, it's got a proper bearing inside, and the response pads are up to date. Now, I understand if you sell yo-yos, you want these things to be as good as possible. You want your customers to have a good experience. Smooth yo-yos, non-dinged yo-yos, Aligned rims, these are all part of quality control, I understand that. But, if you look at this from a competitive lens, 
None of those things matter. Those two months that were like preying on the fear of my mom that I was somehow riding on a faulty bike. Like they were trying to pitch me. They were trying to pitch me the $2,600 wheel set. They were trying to pitch me the $1,000 wheel set. None of that mattered. Now, I'm not the most experienced cyclist. I'm not a professional bike mechanic. I don't know the ins and the outs. I'm a pretty well-versed yo-yo player. Here's the thing that no other yo-yo company will tell you. Dead smoothness, dings, all of that. Unless the yo-yo is like vibrating so that you can't use it and it hurts stability, it's good. Like here's a secret that I'll tell you guys. Every single competition video, every single aesthetic video that Nick edits and makes me look really cool. I'm using B-grade outliers. I compete with B-grade outliers. Evan Nagao dings his yo-yos on purpose. I actually like to ding my yo-yo. So he can feel a bit of vibe on the string. Gentry won with a vibey replay. If you have a yo-yo, you've dinged it, and you can't afford to buy a new one, don't ever let any yo-yo company, yo-yo snob ever tell you that that yo-yo is inferior. If you've got the tricks, if you've got the practice, you can kick people's ass with a B-grade yo-yo. That is all. Let's resume the vlog. Oh, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and what about this one? You guys have like a bike tube here that we can fix that valve up with? Yeah. Sweet. Does that satisfy you? Yes. So, that's mission accomplished basically. We... Also, shout outs to Avanti Cycles. They were the only guys that had the balls to tell me the straight up truth. We went inside that store, we didn't buy a single thing, right? And they still told us the truth. They could have pitched us on a number of wheels, they didn't do that. Shout outs to them, if you guys are ever in Cairns, shop there. The wheel's okay. The wheel's all right. It's, it's purely cosmetic. I love that phrase. Can we pick up the bike today or have to be tomorrow? He was like, did you have any luck with your wheel? And I was like, nah, we decided to just YOLO it and ride with it anyway. He's like, oh, haha, I probably would have, unofficially. I probably would. <laughs> you would? Unofficially. There's some sick people in this world. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got extorted $2,600. No mercy. Oh, I would have ridden that too, unofficially. I'm gonna park my foot in your ass. <laughs> My car, oh, sorry, okay, yes, it's here. Hey. Oh, just to grand chance of the drive. So nothing eventful really happened that day. And one thing I would end on is that the whole smoothness, pristine, non-dinged yo-yos, I'm a huge proponent in kind of furthering that dogma. Like as a reviewer, one of the first things I would intuitively do would be test the smoothness of the yo-yo. But I just don't want anyone to think that that is an important metric when you're competing with the yo-yo. This is gonna be a controversial topic. Comment your answers down below. Do you think things matter? Do you think they not? I've made my point very, very clear. That is the end of today's vlog. See you guys next time. <laughs>